<laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to Hamageddon! I'm Jimmy Ventura, in the booth with me is Rick Schiavone and Fimea. Hello! Hum! Hi, welcome to the Big Ham Party! Get ready your bacon, your sandwiches, your cholesterol pills, and your seat ready, full your, clean your bucket because this is gonna be one of the best nights ever. Thanks to Fold Force Fun. <laughs> oh baby, the most well-regarded, the most prestigious pay-per-view in the JFW calendar. <laughs> Shoot me now, <laughs> please. <laughs> oh baby, no, it's Hamagetta and we got a stacked card tonight. Starting with, of course, the Web Dope Championship. Woo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who's going to come and answer the call of Volt for Go? The open challenge, as always. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I don't know what happened with Vime. He cut out of a fair bit. So okay, now, now you can hear me better. Yeah, perfect now, yeah. This is, I'm trying to get, you know, as far as possible from all this. Tonight there will be winners <laughs> and losers, but the true winners are those that are not involved on this on any way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Underground Championship. Who's it gonna be? Oh my God. <laughs> it's the Big Ham himself. Oh, the Big Ham himself. <laughs> He just arrived, driving his Lamborghini, <laughs> and he's ready for action. He's paying for all this after all, so well, it's a chance for a shot, title shot. Yep. Losing his way into a title scene. <laughs> Here yeah. he comes, money talks, baby, money talks. <laughs> now, to be fair, big win on Monday night. Yeah, well, he, he tried to get a shot at the at the World Championship. He tried to get a shot at the EAB Championship. He tried to get a shot at the Tag Championship. He even tried to get a shot at the Plim Plum Pluserweight Championship. But now he's got a shot at the, at the at World the Championship. At the Open Challenge title, the one that anyone can challenge any time. <laughs> so good job, Fall Force. <laughs> and uh, yes, welcome to this uh, big nightmare. <laughs> You know what, guys? He might just win, right? Like, he's, he's no slouch. And yes, he's been on a bad run until Monday. Full force, though, I am telling you now, could absolutely walk away the new Wendo champion tonight. He really could. <laughs> Here he comes, Hamfagor. <laughs> Gosh, I hope they're paying the JFW superstars well tonight. <laughs> poor, poor uh, Amphagor. He doesn't look too peeved, though, does he? He looks as happy as ever, to be honest. I don't think there's much difference from uh, Borg, you know, dressing like this or uh, the way he usually dresses. <laughs> so for him, I think probably he doesn't even know where he is. <laughs> Yeah, well, he is. He is. He is a Fagora uh, dirtle, you know. He is a beast man, so he's he's a bit hairy. That's to be understood. But he's he's also you know he's got the that being a beast man hasn't stopped him donning the ham attire <laughs> and, and getting <laughs> greased up. <laughs> well, uh, has it that he's actually shaved to get down to this level of hair? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Waxed probably. <laughs> yes. Yes. They just run out of wax. <laughs> Oh, the most beautiful belt in wrestling. <laughs> Introducing the challenger from London, England, weighing in at 424 pounds, Big Ham. <laughs> he shaved 10 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was literally my move. Introducing the champion. <laughs> <laughs> you go, the title on the line. Fall Force managed to win. 
That will mean we'll have to see full force every week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Have I ever wanted somebody to win a JFW match war? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Volk, we go. <laughs> Oh, boy. Please, Volk, please. <laughs> anyway, I say this every time, but it's so true. Volk for Gore on for now maybe the greatest Wemdok title run of all time. He's been absolutely incredible as champion of what a star. <laughs> Straight out of the game. Yeah, honestly, me and Wanger, we were, we were friends with this guy, and all three of us went to uh, Amsterdam, right? And the guy got shaved before we set off, like the morning that we set off, and it was like an overnight, you know, ferry. And then when yep. we got to Amsterdam, he just had a beard. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, tell, tell me something here, Jim. So the, the ring is surrounded by ham. Is, <laughs> is, does that mean that clotheslines over the top like that are, are far less painful than landing on the normal concrete? Exactly, yeah. Normally you're landing on like 20 foot of concrete or plus 20 foot plus, plus feet of concrete. Now, definitely cushioned by that ham. Yeah, 100%. And Volk getting rammed into the bacon as well just does, doesn't seem quite as bad as the uh, the apron, right? <laughs> Indeed, yes, bacon, bacon covering the apron, covering the steps, covering the. the and don't apron. forget the, the <laughs> sausages, <laughs> the sausages that are the robes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah yep, yep. Wow. <laughs> so it, it, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what moves work as well as normal and which don't tonight. Yeah. And let's not forget that everybody's oiled tonight. Yeah, that's a good point. Might be hard to get those pins <laughs> slipping out. <laughs> so no, they're wrong, as well. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit worried about the pyrotechnics with all the oil around this evening. <laughs> we, we might have some, some very cooked bacon soon. <laughs> yeah. Well, this could become barbecue get on very soon. <laughs> Volk Force turned this one around a little bit. Nice knee to the head of Volk, but he kicks out very easily at, uh, at nil. We've got a long way to Volk, go in this Volk, being one. a true competitor, is not going to give an easy win to Fall Force. You know, after all, this is not with blitz speed. <laughs> so he will uh, fight for the title. <laughs> Volk nearly matches Volk Force behind him. That's a huge oh, spear. Oh. It's only onto the hammer. I guess it was the horns, though. He used the horns into the gut of Volk Force, but he did land on the ham, so he might be all right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just oh, just using gravity in his favor. Yeah, that was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> oh, forgot a little outsized here. That's not normally the case, but he's only a little shorter. Uh, he, he does weigh a lot less, but he's, of course, got that extra strength from the Chaos Gods. I think physically this is quite an even matchup. Yes, and now, Fall Force going back to the ring. In, just in time. <laughs> oh, Tony. Oh, oh, what oh. a counter by Fall Force. Grabbing him like he grabs a chicken pakora. <laughs> that, that could be the start of a very big upset. Fall Force in control now. That was a huge move, and that's one step closer to a, a new champion. <laughs> Yeah, and just again putting that, applying that body weight advantage. Oh, look at this, the ham slam. No, choke could ham. Could be right now. Oh, oh this could be, this could be. Oh. Oh. No. Oh, boy. Oh, God, finding a way to carry on, but uh, but not managing to get to his feet. He's on a cord, but there we go. He uses the horn on the jawbreaker. Oh, wow. And just muscles full force down, and suddenly the champion back in control, and here we go. Oh, Volk is getting ready. The horns to the head. <laughs> Boom. Is this it? Oh, the slow count from the ref. Wow, There's what? something happened there. Volk is Has really surprised. Paid? Has he been paid from the kebab fund? <laughs> I mean, he you been. can see full force face everywhere on the ring i tell you we'll find out now because that is it if this fair ref is fair if this match is fair it is all over and the champ is still the champ he's done and it. that's it <laughs> wow work for achieves a great victory here Defeating the big man himself, the man that paid for everything. That's not going to sit well on the full force. 
outside of the ring, money talks and can get you whatever you want. Once you step through those ropes, there's nothing but equality and you've got to get the business done physically. And once again, Fault Force found just a little bit lacking and Volk's incredible title run continues. Yep, incredible performance from Volk for Gore. <laughs> he survives. <laughs> he survives Hammergeddon. <laughs> Unscathed. <laughs> It's not just the physical trauma of Hamageddon, there's the mental trauma too. <laughs> but he puts yes, the, the, the scars are forever. And let's remember that everybody involved here tonight agreed to be part of it. And I mean everybody. <laughs> so whoever you see tonight is because they accepted to be here, you know, voluntarily and gladly. <laughs> yeah. wow. uh, you, you are right for me, but of course, those with titles, I, I think, would probably have to forego the titles if they weren't prepared to defend them. So, you know, it, it, there's a big, big cost to saying no sometimes. <laughs> oh, well. Uh... <laughs> oh, boy, That's boy. their fault for winning the titles. Yep. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> now, we've got a, now we've got a huge caged produce match. <laughs> The revenge <laughs> of the produce against the uh, Dimmy G. Yeah. That for some reason decides to jail vegetables and fruits. Yeah, he keeps all of it. He keeps his bananas in a cage. Oh, you can oh, see Dimi. them on the stream. <laughs> and now he's decided to cage these wrestlers. Throik and, and Lemon is good. They've, they've been going after him. Now they're all in a the rest him. of the kitchen is a fucking death trap with killing chairs. <laughs> Washing machines that are going to kick <laughs> off any time. Random people opening the door. <laughs> Jim, is this one a triple threat or a handicap? It's a triple threat. It's it's every man for himself. Whoever can escape the steel cage of Dimmy's uses to cage produce. <laughs> Whoever escapes first wins the match. There's no so pins. You, you... There's no submissions. You'd expect some early uh, lettuce and lemon ganging up. I would, oh, sorry, cabbage and lemon ganging up on Dimmy. But of course, uh, uh, those those alliances normally break down later in the match when it's every man for himself. Who knows? There is also, you know, uh, the eternal war between vegetables and fruits about who's more healthy. <laughs> <laughs> and here comes Dimmy G. He doesn't look happy the to be dressed. The proud owner <laughs> of none of his five a day. <laughs> he is one of the real badasses of the JFW, and he wouldn't care if it was a handicap match. Um, if ever it was true that two against one means nothing to anybody, it certainly means nothing to Dimmy. Exactly. For Dimmy G, life is a handicap. Oh, God. <laughs> Getting ready to enter the cage. <gasps> Dimmy! What a badass. <laughs> and here it comes. Dress for a different kind of business. <laughs> Lemon is good. I never thought I'd get more excited by a lemon than on Pancake Day, but oh my goodness, he, uh, he is putting it together in that outfit. Lemon is good, baby. <laughs> oh, That's quite the attire, isn't it? Quite the attire, quite the character. Okay. Full of vitamin C. <laughs> chat, chat are on it tonight. Credit to chat. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but lemon on pancakes. Yeah, CP. Nobody knew that in Germany when I was there. But yeah, lemon on pancakes is amazing. Proper amazing. I don't know if it's just like a British thing or what, but yeah. Oh, God, so good. So good, squeezing a bit of lemon, bit of sugar. Oh. Now comes Mr. Throw. 
Ich weiß, das wäre ein lettisch naked Style hier. Yeah, he's had to do away with the robe. You could say, but just for tonight, he's turned over a new leaf. <laughs> oh, man. Single handedly keeping our cholesterol down. <laughs> there you go, getting some of the oil on the sides, you know, to grease himself, get some flavor. Oil and salad is, uh, you know, mm. it's like ham it's like mandatory for, it's like mandatory for God's sake, adding some a little oil to your salad. It is, it is. Oh, it's got to be done. Who's going to escape the cage? Wait a minute. Who's this? Who's the fourth one? There is no fourth. Oh my God! It's Nicolas Cage. Whoa! Nicolas Cage. The real Nicolas Cage. That's it. You heard it here first. Nicolas Cage, the actor Whoa. of you, some of your favorite and most hated movies. <laughs> wow! The kebab fund really is bottomless, isn't it? Look at him go. He is up for this one. Come on, Nicholas Cage. Yeah, Dimmy wanted a cage match and he certainly got one. <laughs> there you go, Dimmy, the cage match. <laughs> if anyone can liberate these fr fruit and veg from a cage, it's the star of Con Air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Truly a national treasure. Hey! Oh, oh man, should have had Cage versus Bean. Oh, man, I don't take no fucking voids. What do you know about voids? What the fuck, man? You take voids? No, no, no. Oh, Dimmy going for throw egg and Nicolas Cage going for lemon. Mm. Yeah, Nick Cage facing off with lemon. Hey! Oh, look at this from Dimmy! Oh! Getting straight to the head of the cabbage. <laughs> Oh. Nicholas Cage rolling through. <laughs> oh, he has had some training. That's what the millions in Hollywood will uh, will pay for. The best of the best when it comes to training you in the art of wrestling, baby. Absolutely. Oh, he's he's going for the escape. Cage escaping the cage. <laughs> oh, throw it all over it. <laughs> it's a shame he had it, that's all. <laughs> if only he could have had his intro music be Dr. Bees! Ah! <laughs> but unfortunately... Anything that uh, doesn't remind me of Nicolas Cage's Wicker Man is not a shame. <laughs> <laughs> I paid good money to go and see that at the cinema. Money I will never get back. Did you really? <laughs> I did. Which movie? <laughs> the Wicker Man the, Wick the Wicker Man remake. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> you, well, you think Hamageddon's bad? <laughs> God, I've, I thought Thick Skull on a, on a high elf throw was the worst decision you've ever made in your life, Rick. Uh, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've learned something today. Ah, <laughs> oh, Nicholas Cage slapping through it with disdain. <laughs> and a beautiful roll through, yanking the leg, and he's going again! Nicholas Cage, the only one interested in winning this match so far. If he cuts him off. Oh, man. Oh, he kicks him off. Yeah, he's he's getting kick. ready, he's getting ready. No, he decides to stay in the cage. Just to beat Dimi a little more. <laughs> Will he... the cage be gone in 60 seconds? <laughs> <laughs> Well, 60 seconds ago, Nicolas Cage didn't know Dimmy, and he's already learned that he'd rather stay and punch him in the face than leave and win. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, oh, throw it, has gone for it. <laughs> yeah, nobody there to stop him at the moment. Is Nicolas Cage going to notice? No, he's going for his own escape. Oh. Who's never going to pick the stop? He can't stop them both, and Dimmy's down. Oh, Cage changes his mind again. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Mon Bon going for a throw egg. Cage can leave the cage. He can betray himself. 
Well, Lemon made the right decision there. Okay, okay. Oh, Paige, trying again. <laughs> he wants no part of this match, does he, Cage? <laughs> He's agreed to do it for the money. <laughs> he hasn't got that Hollywood money rolling in anymore. So <laughs> Couldn't find a foothold on the cage. They're not like the old cages, are they? They used to have the huge blue steel bars. It was easy to, much easier to climb them than the mesh ones. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, man. <laughs> he's really got, he's gone for this so much more than everybody else. Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, he, he knows what it's like, doesn't he, to be a... Uh... He'd be locked up in something, and last time that happened to him in Wickerman, it didn't end too well. <laughs> oh, Lemon this time! Dimmy's down! Work those realized. They take a lot of damage on the way down. That's the uh, the risk if you go too early, isn't it? Yeah, You're it crashing is, back yeah. down to the canvas, so Lemon sensibly aborts. But as case taking a rest, going after Dimmy again, but Dimmy this time got his number. Jimmy quietly has not had a good match. Pretty much every every duel he's been in, he's lost so far. Just been completely beaten up. Zero attempts at leaving the cave. <laughs> oh, can he turn things around now against Cage? Yes, he can. Oh, there you go. He better stop throwing it. He does realize people very much on their game at the moment, realizing when uh, somebody is trying to escape the cage, as soon as they've done a move, they're checking around and seeing if anybody's about to win. And cutting him off. Yeah. Cage again trying to escape. It, going for the door. He's he's been an he's he's been an Alcatraz, and he he doesn't doesn't like being in this. Cage. Yeah, he wants to go back to his home to polish his Oscar. <laughs> Is that what they call it these days? Oh, trouble oh. in paradise. Oh. Well, he won an Academy Award in 1996. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, and Jesus. Lemon, Lemon could leave, but what's it gonna be? No, Lemon wants to inflict more pain. You see, they wanted to prove a point about fruit and veg, but not so much that they're happy to let the other one win. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh! <laughs> okay, it's surely gonna cut off Lemon, is he? He is the least experienced wrestler in the ring. I don't think he's realized. He hasn't realized. Lemon's going to win this one. It's over. Oh, it's not over yet. You see, this Lemon getting there. He only needs to land. He's getting nervous. He's getting scared. Throx moonwalking away instead of he, stopping him. <laughs> Lemon falling from the tree. <gasps> Mick Cage with the unprettier. Oh, my God. Demolish. Throx letting... <laughs> Not doing anything to so lemon is good and now lemon is a winner. <laughs> Fruit and veg winning at Hamageddon. So Dimi, you better open the cages for your fruits. <laughs> Full force will not be happy with these results so far tonight. <laughs> yeah, two wins for the bad guys as far as he's concerned. <laughs> 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 Bitter result. <laughs> Timmy. <laughs> oh, great stuff. Throik, yeah, just refused to stop him, didn't he? Throik was just moonwalking back the other way. You know, he wanted he wanted his fellow fellow uh, you know <laughs> non meat he product did. to win. <laughs> his fellow plant to win, so yeah. <laughs> This is Mandy music every time. <laughs> well, and now, and now, what a fight we have here. Plim Plum Plu plays it away the championship with Moridan, Muppet, and Hancock. Yeah, brilliant stuff. Yeah, this is absolutely incredible on paper, isn't it? Hancock coming in and steamrollering the division recently motivated by the gold title belt. Moradan, one of the greatest tag team wrestlers of all time in the JFW. Muppet, one of the greatest wrestlers period in the JFW. And yeah, Hancock so far proved to be an excellent champion. This is a phenomenal match on paper. <laughs> yeah.
Hancock the champ. You won't have any champs advantage. It will the the title will be hung from the ceiling, and uh, whoever can climb that that ladder and grasp the belt will be the new Plum Plum Bruiserweight champ. First one to call me is Muppet Hamman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he's clearly a link cut. <laughs> yeah, no snakes for Muppet. That's a big disadvantage for him. Normally he has those snakes on. Now he's just got to make do with the chains. <laughs> we have to use the chains and the ladder. Uh, Muppet Pac-Man wanted to recover his title. Have won more than a few times. <laughs> and now we've got Moriham. <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, he's ready to cut up his meat. In some more manageable portions. No heartburn for Maradam. He's going to get this job done. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How, how good will Muppet be without socks over his hands? Like, he's unbelievably good with them there. They've surely got to be a hindrance. Now he's actually uh, free. Yeah, good, good point. They released the Pac-Man. <laughs> More of them ready to batter all his opponents. Ozzy oh, Pan, no, every, everyone's got the harm attire, see, Sabs. <laughs> no exceptions. Everyone forced uh, here to dress. Here comes Hamcock. Force likes. Hamcock, indeed. <laughs> oh, dear. Room had it that the uh, the Scousers were happy to come tonight because they heard there was free food. <laughs> <laughs> they got a few Tupperware and bags to carry, you know, the meat when they dismount the, the scenario. <laughs> Looking very confident. What, one of them got behind the uh, the buffet table earlier and started charging for admission. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much ham, yeah. <laughs> Very casually, the ham 1356 is here tonight. What a coincidence. <laughs> He's, he's so troubled he can't even spell nightmares. <laughs> this is the thing, it's not just the physical toll on these wrestlers tonight, it's the mental toll as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we see the table and the ladder ready on the outside. Might be some, uh, some real high flying damage in this match. We have a very long match. Hancock, yeah, could... straight going to the point, the ladder, a, pro, a, a proper thief. He knows, you know, he needs the proper equipment. <laughs> Mardam really taking it to Muppet, but he eats the steel steps. Hancock could win it already. <laughs> oh, man, imagine this. He's going to have to deal with Muppet if he wants to. Yeah. Oh, he does. So <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't give in until I'm victorious. Hancock doesn't uh, want anyone to have a minimum chance of stealing his title. Oh, the irony. Two years, so many beavers. Oh, glorious. Thank you very much, Chunter. Yeah, six who beaver pregnancies. Absolutely glorious. Chunter <laughs> feeling relieved that he's not part of Armageddon tonight. Oh, Muppet Muppet without Muppet the stakes! Look at the speed! Look at the speed without the stakes! <laughs> But more than is quick there. He had to be, didn't he? Lightning fast to Bardam. Oh, and now countered by Muppet. One of these falls, Hancock's struggling. They yeah. might have time to get the belt. 
Wow, they're having a war Muppet, up here, though. Muppet arms yeah. are in a very weird angle. Whoa! Oh! His hand can't recover just in time. Just in time, Better yeah. get a wiggle on. Oh, going after Mori then now. That's not enough, though. It's not enough. He needs to go better. Mori then is used to pain. <laughs> Especially in the back. <laughs> Finally gets uh, gets him to let go of the belt. That was a lot oh of work. God. All right, I'm going for a ride. Oh. Holy moly! Yeah, go up and go up and try for it, mate, as well. Oh my goodness, Muppet, you need to move. This could be it. <laughs> I think Hancock might have retained. Unbelievable. See that Muppet wakes up. The king was wrong with his late. arms. Oh, oh, oh going there! Wow. Just in the last second. Wow. Oh, tosses him off. And now Muppet. Moridan is there. Moridan is outside the ring. He needs to act now. He's oh. up there. Unbelievable. Oh, there you go. And now he's Moridan. <laughs> and got back in the land of the living as well. They can stand them both flying. Oh, that's Hancock gets rid of uh, Muppet. And now he's trying to get rid of Moria, he needs to be quick. <laughs> oh, they're both joining up to push this Oh, they're both joining forces. What's this? What's this teamwork? <laughs> oh, electric chair. Dog. Oh, but the Muppets gets the Oh, the betrayal. The bitter betrayal. Oh, Genius Muppet. by Muppet. To be the champion again, since LeBron Mask took the title from him. No, he goes after <laughs> Hancock for some reason. He surely had it won. You absolute idiot, Muppet. Why, why is he, why is he doing, so, so keen on inflicted pain on Hancock? This is a very dangerous maneuver. There is a ladder there. Muppet, what got into you? Oh, wow. Part of the benefit of the Scousers is how much they infuriate the competition drive. <laughs> Lude's focus on actually going for the win. He's not fast anymore, is he, going up those ladders? No, nope, they've taken it out of him, that's for sure. And every man on his feet now. Moridan's still got a spring in his step. Was up those ladders pretty quick. Oh, there's the huge power bomb. And now Hancock trying to stop Moridan. <laughs> I think we're going to see Muppet for a while. This really could be Hancock's if he could get Moridan off that belt. Yeah, I can go desperate. This is probably the first time in his life that he has something. Man, he loves this power bomb, doesn't he? Again. Oh my god. But again, another wrestler probably had it won there and instead continues to punish his opponent rather than going for the title. Go for the title, Hancock. <laughs> You've got this, mate. Oh, this is it. Now, there you go. Hancock feeling safe. Taking his time, locks are complicated. He usually opens things to throw in a brick at them. <laughs> Not a bit stirry, but surely too late. There you go, Hancock. Retain. Retain. <laughs> wow. The dominance of the Scouses continues. We have some unbelievable champions in the JFW at the moment. Hancock wrecking it in the Plim Plum Bluesweight division. Volk, the Wemdope champion forever. The glorious ones ripping through the title scene. Man. I don't believe it. That was, he made that look easy, didn't he? Dominant performance. For yes, he only needed to take advantage. <laughs> Hancock. <laughs> Hancock returned. So Volt returned, Hancock returned. Well, I really hope the next guys return. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. This is it. The other two Scousers versus the glorious one and Mrs. Wenger. There's one thing the Scousers have proven time and time again since they hit the ground running in the JFW is that nothing and nobody can stand between them and anything that's gold. So I am sorry, the glorious ones, two of the greatest of all time in tag and singles competition. I can't see them winning this. I really can't. I think the Scousers have got this and we're going to have new tag team champions. <laughs> I have to agree more or less, but uh, we're talking about the glorious ones here, but yes. Agronomics and Steve Moti have proven been an absolute machine. Oh, hey, Wanga. <laughs> oh, man.
God, and whatever I... happens tonight, we know who's gonna sell those chains in the junkyard later. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Flicky Flack there saying, uh, "You can't hide from me and my tag partner forever." <laughs> 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 well, they, they might be instant number one contenders, right? If the Scousers win tonight, Flicky and his tag partner just beat them in a tag match. So so maybe immediate title match uh, coming up. <laughs> maybe, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, let's, let's get to ringside. <laughs> Oh no, I didn't change the Scousers. Oh no. Sorry. <laughs> Scousers have stolen their own entrance music. <laughs> oh dear. At least it's a quick intro, this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. They look the part, and it's, uh, it's what happens after the bell rings that really matters. Yep. Well, and this glorious song. <laughs> and now, here comes. Here they come! The new Blitz Pit Champion and Table Leg Wanger! Three times finalist of the Blood War Super League! Oh yeah! Some say soon to be the three-time runner-up of the BBSL. Pretty, pretty incredible consistency. <laughs> Almost certainly going to be a three-time runner-up. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> they have been amazing champions. I've said it before. I was unsure when they got handed a title shot by Jim McMahon, but they've been absolutely amazing since then. So even though... The Scousers and their incredible motivation for getting their hands on gold is uh, is well and truly known, and I do believe in that. These guys are going to put on a great match, win, lose, or draw. They're going to be amazing. <laughs> what well, they have in their corner, Mrs. Wanger, one of the powerhouses of the GFW, that uh, as a proper lady is dressed for the occasion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's absolutely phenomenal in uh, in her own wrestling matches. Um, she doesn't tend to interfere as much as some other managers, but you just never know, do you? You just never know. She might make the difference tonight if required. Indeed. Yeah, hello, Foxomania, glorious. <laughs> Steve Moore, T. Fuller, Newman. On the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 525 pounds, Steve Moore, T, and Fuller Newman, the Red Army. Oh, God. <laughs> Steve Moore, Poor old Jojo struggles Fuller, with the uh, tag team Newman, intros. <laughs> and their opponent. <laughs> Wow, Jimmy Stewart's a bit of oil. <laughs> Tiny days here in the GFW. Oh, dear me. <laughs> the bells. There's a lot of bacon grease in the ring tonight. Let's not forget that Fagernomics is the only scouser with an actual title, without an actual title. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. And, uh, Jimmy, not taking any chance here. He means business, doesn't he? Absolutely propelled across the ring and slammed. The sooner he wins, the sooner he can leave this place. 
That is everyone's well, objective. At least he's not against uh, only hams tonight. <laughs> Sli slightly more comfortable match in that regard. <laughs> but for all you can say about the Scousers, they, they definitely shower before a match. <laughs> Yeah, Jim absolutely taking it. Wants to hold on to the title belt. Eats a boot and manages to reverse it into an hour. Then another reversal from Steve Motti. Goodness me, this is back and forth. And into the Scousers' corner goes Jim. Now, oh, Fire Nomic centers the ring. <laughs> what the <are> oil? <laughs> Fire Nomic's <laughs> skin color more or less matches the. <laughs> The ring and the surrounding area, so makes him nearly invisible. Oh, where's he gone? <laughs> Where is fire? I can see fire. <laughs> like a predator. He disappeared. <laughs> I heard they spend an extra few days in Benidorm to get that color. And, and what's the yellow cat in the middle of the ring? <laughs> <laughs> the two big guys in the ring and fucker powers through table leg wanger. Early tax for both teams. It's good strategy. Now dropping a really, really big knee onto table leg, getting the damage done. Great jab, whipped him into the corner. Oh, massive back elbow! Holy what moly! A combo I father no me. I'm really sure Wenger wasn't expecting that. No. <laughs> I always forget the agility of Fogonomic. It's unbelievable. It really is, yeah. <laughs> And all Fogonomics since these two went in the ring. What can Table Lake do? Sidewalk. No, backbreaker is what. Finally turns it around. It seems one get a walk up. Yeah, huge size and strength advantage from Wanger. He's just got just to gotta make use of it, hasn't he? But the Scouts has been uh, pretty on a, top so far. Haven't given him giant much of a guy, chance. but Fogonomic knows how to use his, uh, his size as well. Not absolutely miles behind Wanger in that department. No, he's uh, maybe he's smaller, but he's wider. <laughs> yeah, I wish we could have guest refs, Foxamini. That'd be so good. Hopefully, and hopefully, and Wanger makes the tag. Twenty-two. Oh, he's miles away. Oh, got off by the Scousers. So the the upper hand in the uh, the tag team tactics department going to the Scousers now. Whoa. Wanger just going to sheerly power his way back into control. <laughs> Huge elbow to Steve Mighty, but he needs to make the tag. He's been pretty beaten up by Fogonomic. And there it is. <laughs> now Jim in the ring. It in revenge on Steve Mighty. <laughs> yes, Bezel. <laughs> Hopefully they delay it to 2024 to make sure they've really fixed the bugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jim sent into the Scousers' corner and a massive Whoa. clothesline sends him reeling. Oh, and this Steve has been Mighty dominating the... from the Scousers. They're in a lot of trouble, aren't they? The uh, glorious ones tonight. The glorious ones, yes, they're in trouble here. They're not used to this kind of environment. So far, but if, if Skurametso was here, he'd say Jim will get even more beaten up and then he'll Jim Bottom and win. <laughs> the classic one, yes, that's true. That is what he'd say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair, he'll probably so be <laughs> later we'll have to fight here. Just oh. a few days before his wedding. Yeah. Oh. 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 oh! oh! Devastating money over there. Oh, oh, he's he's the the oh he's managed. managed! It's those little touches from Jim that really do make him one of the all-time greats, but Table like immediately in trouble, and Jim is nowhere to be found. Fogonomic saw Table Legs right hand coming, blocked it, and knocked him out with one of his own. Oh, <laughs> what a move of Fogonomic. Oh, that could be it. No chance, no chance. There's a lot of gas in uh, Wanger's uh, tank. <laughs> this is Wanger driving the bus around Jim. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Unagi, this is awful. This is awful. This could, could will table leg tap? Maybe sure. new champions could be right now. First new champions of the night at Hamageddon. Oh no! Oh, there you go. 
just in time Jim's back as well if table they can find a tag but he's already back in trouble his recovery did not last long there we go powers through whips him over to Jim make that tag table leg come on baby yeah, and now indeed. Jim but did he have Jim enough time to recover we'll see now yeah, he'd only just got back to the apron hadn't he he would have uh, ideally caught his breath as well afterwards but he's just going to have to do his best because table leg was put through the uh, the meat grinder Fire Numb is getting redder and redder and when follow his blood pressure <laughs> <laughs> he tried for the tag there wasn't he and Jim's done an excellent job of cutting him off because although he hasn't taken too much damage the fantastic oh. splash oh baby He's punched himself out a bit, I think, Fogonomic. Has he got the... Uh, the... Oh, wow, well, Steve's right there. Yeah. And interestingly, Table Leg making no effort to stop him. <laughs> Bottom risky. <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness. The frustration from Jim. That probably oh, brings the memories of Fogonomic of his childhood. <laughs> <laughs> Control. I was going to say in control, but wow, what a counter. Yeah, it was a good run from Jim, but yeah, countered with a clothesline. But here we go, shoulder bar to his own, and he's right back on top again. Jim, yeah, finally finding a foothold for the glorious ones, because up until then, it had been absolutely all the scouts of the heart. Right, there you go. Oh, Steve, the you need to get in there, Steve. The move that beat no. here, B. <laughs> oh, that fire nomic. Been working really hard, really hard on his hips oh, before his surgery. Oh, oh, again! Oh, oh no! Oh no, Jim! Table no, leg. Jim! No! Oh, you don't you want to the honeymoon special. <laughs> oh, God. There you go, the honeymoon special after a nice dinner. Jim <laughs> is going to sleep. Oh, he's no, powered up! Oh, powers yes. up! What am I? What strength of Jimmy there? <laughs> oh, oh, brutal kick there! Oh, no, oh, oh, and he let them tag. What a mistake from Jim, but somehow powers up against Steve Murphy. And now he's wiped out Glorious. fucking Olympic, and he's wiping no, out Steve Murphy. Taylor like, might have caught his breath as well. So it's up to Jim to go for the finish himself, and but he's I made the tag end. he's been caught. I will defend. <laughs> I can't tell if this is still Brutal my three hammer getting nightmares Murphy. or real life. Some great matches so far. <laughs> Thank you very much, Velvet Wasabi Ice Cream. It's too fantastic for five oh, glorious months. Like and there's the, co the cock drop. Able like needs to save this all we're done. No fucking omic though, he's still not oh. covered. Oh my god, how close there. was that? Jimmy bleeding. Second. Jimmy needs to make the tag. Another one, no. Oh my god, why did Wang wait so long? Just for the drama. <laughs> Great count from Jim. Desperately needs to make that tag. And here it is. No. Oh, oh and now Jimmy has some time to recover. Yeah, but how much can he recover now he's busted open that badly and it's going to get into the oil. It's going to drip into his face. He's going to start to feel faint. Yes, this is not the kind of place where you want to have a cut. Unbelievable table leg to the top rope, the biggest Ooh. man in the ring, he lands it! That must have half killed Steve Motti! <laughs> what an elbow, though. Is he oh looking bad for Steve Motti? Wants to go for the adopted uh, camel clutch of swords. Steve Motti somehow finds a way out. All that oil isn't good for submission tonight, is it? <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> oh, God. A real meat spin. <laughs> <laughs> Kids today won't like, even know me to spin This is like Greco Roman wrestling. Oh, back to the oh, he's done it again. He gets him. Oh my god, this could be it. Jimmy needs to enter. Fagnomic is oh. No. Oh. It was so slow. Yeah, he's, he's knacked, isn't he? he, was, he you, you could see him hanging off the ropes earlier. I don't know if you noticed it, but he's, he's absolutely shot. Table leg just swinging on instinct oh, here. Oh, what a lot for Steve Motti. Oh my god. Superior conditioning of the Scousers coming into play here. They're used to running from the cops for days at a time. <laughs> yes, exactly. Is there someone able to, you know, keep going without the end as the Scousers? Especially if there is some gold at the end. 
<laughs> oh my word. Only the power of table leg giving the glorious ones any chance right now. Jim is just dead on the ropes. <laughs> yeah, <it doesn't. laughs> oh, dear. The power alone of table leg is not enough to stop the scousers and there's a tag. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, it's going absolutely on. brutal. Oh, and then you got a drubbing here like nothing. This is a drubbing, isn't it? This is an absolute drubbing so far. It, it is a one-sided massacre. <laughs> I've never seen a title, title holders this dominated by challengers since I've been commentating in the JFW. Mm. Absolutely brutal. The Scousers have been uh, absolutely unstoppable. Oh, tag table. Ooh. They were saying that. Jim's no better. Oh, cheeky submission win attempt. Oh, oh, but the oil again. The oil making things easier. Oh, <laughs> oh the attitude. He's again. again. Yeah. Oh, this could be it. No, again. <laughs> no, just can't hold it. Yeah, like you say, too much oil. You just can't hold the submission. But Faganomeric is in big trouble here. You can see, well, you can barely see him. <laughs> oh, elbow to the gut, though, to take control again. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. <laughs> somehow, table leg immediately powering through to get the tag. In comes Jim. What's Jim got left? I'm not sure. Jimmy, yes, look into the way. Running tag. away. <laughs> running away. Tag. Mrs. Wagner is just running away. There's no one any more of it. <laughs> Oh, this is Wanger doing the full NASCAR again. <laughs> oh, oh, the roll-up! Roll roll Surely not! Up. Surely not! Oh, what a way wow. to have one. And Firenomic once again managed to survive. Oh. Table are doing a great job, especially if his partner doesn't want to tag. Mm. Oh, punishing the leg and the hip. Wanger knows, knows about the damage tip of Fugger going after it. Disgusting behaviour, but, you know, is it just a smart move? Like sweeping the leg. Will Jim tag this time? Not yet. Oh, oh. right into the bottom sausage. What a brutal punishment here on Firenomic. Nearly. Once I nearly feel sorry can, for him. I'm still tag. not tagging him. <laughs> what on earth is going on? Oh, there's the counter. Oh, what a slap. Table leg has been phenomenal for the last five or ten minutes, though. Really bringing the glorious one oh, back into it. Firenomic tries to escape, but is this it? And if he may manage to do the tag. Oh, no. Oh wow! Oh, oh my God. God! Oh my God! Fire oh, God, no. power oh. here! Oh, oh come oh, on, Jim! This could be it. This, oh. this could be it. Come on, Jim! Steve's in to intercept Jimmy. Two. He's got him. No, he he had to see the scouts won. The scouts won. The scouts nation. Every single scout should have at least a title. What a night to be in Liverpool! <laughs> I can't believe that Jimmy wouldn't tag. I have never seen him give up like that since at least the last BBSL final. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. You bastard, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I have to say it, absolutely self winners here, the Scousers. They were unbelievable, weren't they? I, like I well, said, I, I haven't seen challengers dominate. Steve Motti has two titles because he's also the internet champion. Yeah. So three people have four titles. <laughs> That's a demonstration of the power of the Scousers. Who's going to stop them? Who's going to bring some justice to the GFW? Or will they somehow collect all the titles? They're not far away anymore. And all the copper. <laughs> yeah. Copper wires where it's really up. <laughs> well, 
Now the Extrans belt fight Goliath versus Rick Wrestles. And if Rick, you were saying that you didn't saw the Glorious Ones winning, I don't see how Rick is going to be able to beat Goliath. I've got to agree for me, Goliath Games, just on the form of anybody's life in the history of JFW, unbelievable how he's demolished the biggest and the baddest in JFW history week after week. And uh, and Rick also lost to Johnny B. Good on Monday, so so he's on no kind of form. Goliath Games on, on flying form, I think we've got a new champion. Well, but if there's anyone that knows how to fight surrounded by dead meat, is uh, Rick Wellness. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still stunned. What a sad day for the JFW. Bloody Hammageddon. <laughs> the glorious ones defeated. Scousers. <laughs> oh well, business just picked up. <laughs> Certainly did. Climb aboard the Fawar chain. <laughs> Chain? Train. <laughs> Seeing chains, I'm meaning train. Because, <laughs> yeah, I think uh, the championship. Yes. yes. Goliath, a man born to wear this outfit perfectly <laughs> as it was decided. <laughs> Hardly even noticed that he's had a, uh, <laughs> a costume change, to be honest. <laughs> the, the only man to have to uh, wear less oil to fit in tonight. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for this one. These guys are amazing. Uh, this, uh, this has all the makings of one of the great title matches. And I really do. I, to be, I really want Goliath Games to win. I have absolutely loved his run. I have thought that he should get a title shot for weeks. And uh, yeah, I, I want him to see it through and become the new champion. <laughs> yeah, if anyone if anyone can beat this monstrosity, it's uh, it's Rick. But he did yes, Rick is full of absolutely epic performance in the past. Yeah, some some nights it feels like just nothing will put Rick away, right? Some some nights he finds something to kick out of absolutely everything. And Goliath Games better hope it isn't one of those nights. The prediction is very tight. There is a lot of recognition here. Oh boy, well now it's time to see Rick as you've never seen him before. <laughs> and he's got more outfits than the rest of the JFW put together. <laughs> Oh, there you go, Rick Wireless going with the fashion, <laughs> following the trend. Rick has proven, hasn't he? He is prepared to go anywhere, do anything, and now wear anything to be the champion and defend that title. He allowed his body to be broken in Hell in a Cell. He rehabbed as hard as any man ever could. He fought Jim McMahon himself to get a title shot back and then beat the absolutely unbeatable Night Demon. So he deserves to be here. There's no doubt about that. But will he deserve to walk out the champion? That is a very open question. Absolutely. Yeah, maybe it's time to call the ambulance. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the challenger from England, weighing in at 420 pounds, the Goliath. I don't think the game is that advanced, uh, <laughs> ice cream. I don't think. Just, uh, Introducing just probably wrong. Introducing the champion from Birmingham. Weighing in at 209 pounds, 
He is the undisputed champion, the Saint Rick Rex. <laughs> the Saint. Mar. Yeah. He, he did try something different on Monday, and that, that is a good point, that it is a strategy that, that could get him somewhere against Goliath Games. The problem is it didn't work, did it? He lost. He lost on Monday to, uh, to Johnny B. Good. So he might be second-guessing that. He needs to take advantage of his speed and agility here because his strength is out of the quest. And, and maybe target the legs. It, it always sticks in my mind how Night Demon absolutely destroyed Mighty Zug recently by targeting the legs early taking him off his feet, getting the uh, the strength advantage stripped away from Mighty Zug. Oh, no, what a start. Christ. Uh, but, yeah, of course, uh, the Scousers did lose to Flicky Flack and his uh, tag team partner, didn't they, on Monday? And then went on to absolutely dominate the, the, uh, the glorious one. So maybe they were, like, you know, just holding back, you know, saving energy, and maybe that was what Rick was doing as well. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, that, that is true. I still hold, though, that I think the Scousers thought they, they had that one easily in, in what they felt was a, was a two-on-one handicap match, but, you know, maybe they were wrong. They were certainly wrong about taking it that easily. Absolutely. All right, back and forth so far. Both men got some shots in. Rick currently in control, cranking the head of Goliath Games, and he has got him off his feet, and he is trying the high-flying strategy. Yeah, he really is. There you go. There you go. He's asking Goliath to get up. Maybe a mistake. <laughs> no, it's still punish in the head. Nice, but look. The part of the body with less muscles of uh, Goliath games. And then he takes him down by the legs again. Really, really top strategy so far from Rick. Oh, oh. But, uh, Goliath games doesn't even feel the punch. Oh, Rick's in oh. trouble. What are you doing, Rick? <laughs> oh, oh. God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That was a badly timed taunt, Rick. <laughs> it certainly was. Whipped into the ropes. Oh, oh flip me, guys. Oh. Life games hardly has to get oh, his boot up to his waist to, uh, to wipe out somebody like Rick. Crazy. Oh, another counter. Whoa. Oh, so power of Goliath fun. games. He's, he must be twice as strong at least as Rick, mustn't he? Rick really has to try a different strategy tonight. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Goliath Games has been dominating via power guys twice the size of Rick. Like, <laughs> yeah. absolutely everybody in the JFW, including, say, the Mighty Zug, it's been unreal, and Frost Lord Army. So, yeah, Rick, Rick, like uh, Vermeer said, having to use his speed and agility, which we are seeing here, wearing down the giant. Yeah. I think he needs to stun uh, Goliath Games. Oh. This is a seven count. Oh, oh is count he taking the win? champion's advantage? Champion's advantage. It is. Could be it. Could be it. The tactics are strategy. This Unbelievable. Is He's done it. Oh, God. Oh, oh, and there you go. Wow. Rick retains. What a master strategy is. What wow. a master strategy is. <laughs> I'm, I'm perfect, hearing now perfect that stall, the perfect stall, perfect 16 stall. Space Cadet apparently laid out this plan to Rick and, and Rick listened and, and executed it perfectly. Oh, man. Wow. That was the best way of, uh, the only way of beating Goliath Games, not fighting him. <laughs> well, I'm glad that wasn't the main event. <laughs> oh, boy. And now, Escuro Meso versus Bill with a top hand. Yeah, in a battle to see who is the greatest Tom Brady fan of them all. <laughs> it's it's Skuramezzo appearing at Ham again. Will he be forced to wear the Ham outfit? It, it, we've got this promo, he's wearing his shit, uh, his shit attire. But, you know, will he have to wear the Ham attire? That's the big question, I guess. I don't know, chat. I think I think Alive Games has had his shot. It's somebody else's turn next. Maybe he can work towards the uh, the World Championship that Johnny B. Good holds if he uh, still holds it after tonight. But uh, for me, it's it's one and out. If you weren't the champion, why should you get a rematch? So yeah, Rick moves on. That was that was that was a sad tragedy, really, for Goliath, wasn't it? That was a bullet dodged by Rick there. Really was, really <laughs> was very smart. But yeah, the only way he could probably do it. <laughs> Bit of Rick dice. Yes, that was a tactic not to score. 
And here's the debut of Berg with a top hat. He's a oh, murder. debut in Hamageddon. <laughs> He's a murder. What pilot. an outfit. What an outfit. <laughs> Oh, fireworks! There's gonna be a lot of fireworks in this fight. <laughs> there is, yeah. This is the most amount of fireworks in any <laughs> any match in GFW history. <laughs> yeah, he looks pretty great. I'm uh, I'm interested to see how he gets it done in the ring, what his style is. But yeah, exciting proposition here, Bourbon in top half. Found the Jeff W by way of storybook brawl, and boy does he <laughs> love Tom Brady. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. But if there's someone who tries wicked hard <laughs> to worship Tom Brady, <laughs> it's Skurometso. Skurometso, who comes the most expensive entrance in the history of the GFW. Yeah, for Can months imagine? we couldn't afford it, and now all forces pockets open, and we've had Skurabetto back in the build-up too, and now at Hamageddon, baby. Thank you, Full Force. <laughs> and I can see this entrance being used for Skuros Mesos wedding in a few days. <laughs> and he's not wearing the ham outfit. He has resisted Mr. Jims McMahon. <laughs> he's defied him. He has not worn the ham attire. I'm thinking how epic will it be if we knew where Skuro is getting married so we could send him some kebabs <laughs> for the banquet. I'm not sure if any result has gone the way that Full Force would have wanted tonight for mm -hmm. what he's been paying for. What I can say for sure is that he will want a loss of Skuro Metso. Yeah, well, what's the punishment for Skuro Metso going to be for, wearing, for not wearing the helmet here? That's the question. He's got to face some consequences, surely. Now, we'll see. I mean, this has proven that be careful what you wish for, because you could get it. All the force wanted the fights, and he got the fights, but not the results he wanted. What's Wait. this? What's this? I mean, another school entrance? No. No. Unbelievable! Be. No Unbelievable! Way. It looks like it looks it like is. it's him. It's yeah. him. It's Tom Brady. <laughs> Tim Brady himself wow. came to the GFW to prove who's the biggest fan of Tom Brady. <laughs> Obviously, Tom Brady. <laughs> oh my goodness! Boy, how are these? Wow, how is Skuro even going to function being as starstruck as he's going to be here? He better do quickly or he's going to get his ass whooped by his hero. <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, the, the kebab fun truly is bottomless, isn't it? If it could afford Tom Brady. Absolutely incredible. It really is. I mean, you know, it's, it's hard to put into words how many kebabs <laughs> Full Force has to, <laughs> has to buy each week. So... <laughs> Tom Brady and his powerful chin after drinking some oil. <laughs> Brady gonna deflate some balls tonight. Oh dear. <laughs> That's I was, I was gonna say, ru rumor has it that he's had the rope slightly slackened actually. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to see. <laughs> Better buy a bunker and hide in it. <laughs> well, I guess this is the punishment for Skuro not wearing the ham attire, eh? He's got to fight his hero. Unbelievable. Oh, what a chance for Skuro. <laughs> I'm with a top hat, meeting their hero face to face and being able to punch him. <laughs> and, and of course, not, not just his hero, but the greatest athlete of all time, <laughs> according to, uh, to American sports life. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, that is a rather laughable notion, isn't it? But there you go. <laughs> the 
But he's a great quarterback. Or was. The greatest of all time, maybe. But uh, maybe not the best athlete. Okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> One of the most confusing fights I've ever seen in the GFW, and I've seen many. <laughs> but, Skura just Skura celebrating. Refuses, Skura refuses to participate in this. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe he just won't hit Brady, right? That'll be interesting to see oh, if he'll actually a top, throw uh, right hand at Brady. What a performance. <laughs> oh, boy, now he hasn't got any choice. Burb taking it to him. Yep, Skuro just ignoring Tom. He's got to go after Burp with a top hat. Oh, nice What DDT. a teamwork by Skuro now. Oh, and now. Whoa. Oh, what did he do? Skuro knows. Oh, oh, my God. Brady, he will. <laughs> That's he how Skuro shows his respect for Tom Brady. Treat him like an equal in the ring. <laughs> I, I am noticing he's not going for his face so far. <laughs> Oh, oh wow, well, the Skuro has been vanquished by Tom. Skuro just going to have a little nibble on that ham and get his energy back. <laughs> just a couple of leaks. <laughs> this is first pin wins the match, so people will have to run in and break up pins. Question is, Skuro doesn't want to hit Tom Brady, but Skuro doesn't want to lose either. Yeah, imagine losing at ham again. Oh, he couldn't live with himself. Oh, Skuro again ignoring Tom, but Tom not ignoring Skuro. Oh, the heartbreak. <laughs> Having your hero. Tom Brady treating Skuro like he treated the fans of the New England Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Tell you what, Tom doing work. The uh, Between him and Cage, you know, we've had some pretty good celeb performances tonight. <laughs> Very impressive, yeah. Oh, what a kick. Now Burb showing us what he can do. Oh. Skuro, definitely the one struggling to uh, to get to grips with this match. The mind games of being up against Tom Brady really oh, seems there to you take go. them off his game. The Burb's going to fly. <laughs> oh. oh, what a hit. Full top hat hit. Oh. Oh, I don't think Tom was going to get there on time. Skuro somehow finds a way to kick out despite everything he's taken so far. Uh, those bird feet really doing damage to everybody. Yeah, wow. wow. Going for Brady's face, that is unforgivable. <laughs> don't know how he'll be able to live <laughs> with himself. <laughs> oh, very we to have have looking for something there. Oh god, god the hammer. The hammer. No, not to Brady, no! Oh, oh my god, the leg! Goodness. Hit the, leg. <laughs> the NFL season nearly ruined in one moment of the JFW. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, he was going for a, he was going for a bull shot on Skuro. <laughs> Skuro's had enough. Skuro has finally decided he can do it. He can beat on his hero. Oh. oh. He's over the heartbreak. He'll deal with that later. Right now, he's going to get the job done. And he's going to hurt Brady. Oh, man. No matter what it does to his soul. <laughs> Oh, oh, what wow. a kick! <laughs> oh, wow. Burp could have this. Oh, well. I bet Skuro enjoyed that pin there in between Brady's legs, but <laughs> kicked out nevertheless. I'm <laughs> <laughs> yep, surprised he didn't voluntarily take the two counts, but uh, he's swaying back against Burp. Yeah, he's very close to the Super Bowls of uh, Tom Brady. <laughs> Oh. 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 Wow, gets a two count. Brady nearly with a debut win. That's all he knows how to do is win. <laughs> oh, huge oh. count. I think Skura managed to burp. Oh, here we go. The pop up power bomb. This could be it, Skura. That really could. There's no Brady in sight. Oh, oh no! No, incredible! Maybe he was done. Now Tom Brady back into the ring. 
Oh, huge right hand as Brady picks up the win. Oh, the ref's taking ages. Oh, dear. School Roger's happy to have Tom lying on top of him. <laughs> <laughs> Never leave me, Tom, I feel like I just heard him say. We're on Brady Summer, I don't think so. Oh, oh no, again, Tom again. Brady so close to win. Yeah, again, though, Burb just milking that time underneath Tom. <laughs> oh, oh, Tom, no, Skuro isn't going to leave you alone anymore. Court <laughs> celebrating, sent back in. Oh Burb completely out of it, I is think this, this is it this time. Skuro pins Brady, oh. no! Oh, it's got oh, the sledgehammer! Oh, no, 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 he couldn't, he couldn't. Oh, it's going for the pedigree. But he can't do this. Oh, here we go. Top of power bomb. Oh, but Burb's up. Burb recovers. Burb's going to break it up, is he? Oh, he does. Oh, so close. So close. Oh, God, so 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 <laughs> oh, God the head, but the peak boots. Oh, oh, I know. The score is bleeding. <laughs> yeah, Tom Schmitz. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Back and forth we go. Who can Whoa. get it? And Burp said flying. Brady's been down for ages. There is only a space for one true fan of John Tom Brady in the ring. Girl, what are you doing? Just pin Brady. <laughs> what are you doing? He can't. He can't he do it. Run. He can't do it. You madman. Oh, yes. <laughs> 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 And now, everybody back into the ring. <laughs> oh my word, what a scoop slam. Holy oh. moly. Jesus. Kuro's gone. <laughs> Burp versus Brady. Brady misses. <laughs> then he catches him. Massive clothesline. Brady's going to win. Oh, boy. Debut win by Brady. Oh, <laughs> no. Flip me, what a match. This has been match of the night by a mile. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm bringing it going at it. This is definitely making up for the despicable Rick win. <laughs> <laughs> the budget was deep, but the matches have been cheap. <laughs> not, not this one. Value for money for the entire ticket. Here, Skuro and Brady celebrating together. What's this nonsense? What's going on? What's going on? Skuro going, I'm part of the team. I'm part of the team. Team Brady. Team Brady. Oh, Brady betrays Skuro. Brady betrays Skuro. Oh, Skuro's going to be so heartbreaking. Oh, he rolls oh. over the ring. Oh, boy. <laughs> Skuro just following Tom Brady wherever he goes. <laughs> oh boy. Oh god, the beak. Oh, the beak oh, again. He's gonna no. bleed. Tom Brady is gonna bleed. Oh, this could that's be it. it. That's gotta be it. Two. Jeez. Three. <laughs> and that's it. Bill with a top hat achieves the victory. <laughs> Beating Tom Brady for the title. The <laughs> biggest fan of Tom Brady. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> oh, what a start to the JFW career of Burb. The only JFW superstar in history already to say that he pinned Tom Brady. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. And, uh, yeah, well, boy, do I wish I'd pre-recorded uh, <laughs> Armageddon now. <laughs> this might be something that Skuro Metal can never recover from. <laughs> Well, I don't know if Skuro will recover. I can tell you, James, you are not going to recover. <laughs> oh, at least he got to celebrate with his hero in a somewhat bizarre but emotional moment <laughs> in the ring there before finally feeling the brunt <laughs> of his right fist. But credit to Burb, took full advantage, and that is a really impressive win. <laughs> yep. And flying high. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to get a bunker, I think, to avoid <laughs> Skuro's rod. <laughs> yes, this tw twenty plus feet uh, of uh, concrete are gonna be very useful for you now. <laughs> Jimmy's wedding gift to Skuro. <laughs> oh god.
Lord. All right, and now the main event. Well, the main event, I mean, we have seen so many tonight. <laughs> but this could be the true main event. Bros. Lord versus Johnny B. Good. Yeah, it's going to be a little controversial here because I realize really it's that kind of job to hype matches. But Frostlord lost to Goliath Games on Monday. Johnny B. Good beat Rick and is on the form of his life. I think this might be a one sided match for the champion. And obviously, I hope to be proven wrong. Let's see. Well, the thing is, though, this isn't Frostlord. You can see he's got a new mask. He's got the ham attire. This is Hamlord. <laughs> and Hamlord, you know, is an altogether different proposition. Oh, the hams. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Hamlord. Oh, here comes Hamlord. <laughs> previously known as Froslord. Changing names. Smoke Tam. Changing <laughs> names like a casual Kanye West. <laughs> Back in his uh, comfort zone in this match, isn't he? Absolute giant of a man, Frostlord Army. Somehow dwarfed by Goliath Games in his last matchup, but here he's going to be able to physically dominate Johnny B. Good. Johnny B. Good's going to have to find something special. Yep. <laughs> Johnny B. Aiken. <laughs> I was thinking Johnny B. Ham, but yeah, Johnny B. Aiken's freak. <laughs> <laughs> He is the good boy of the JFW, but uh, I tell you what, dogs get distracted when there's meat around. <laughs> yeah, the sausage ropes could be a disaster for him. <laughs> and here he comes. Johnny Begit, world Ooh. champion. Wow, earned the spot to be on last after beating Rick. Unbelievable champion versus champion match on Monday Night Claw. Yeah, that was an incredible performance. If anything's really put an exclamation mark behind the statements he's been making recently, it's uh, it's beating Rick, isn't it? Rick's still the extra arms champion, but uh, but yeah, the uh, got that mark against his name now that the world champion beat him, fair and square. Yeah, GBG, yeah, unfortunately, but it's okay because got the got the hat and the uh, got the hat and the shades back on for the fight. <laughs> there wasn't enough points to have the uh, shades on in the entrance, sadly. Introducing the challenger from England, weighing in at three hundred twenty-one pounds, the sailor. I, lo I love the Hamlord mask, I think it's brilliant. Introducing the champion from Leeds, England. <laughs> Weighing in at 225 pounds, he is the world champion, Johnny B. Goodish. <laughs> no. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the final fight of the Hamageddon. Trauma. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, well done, everybody. You've nearly got through it. <laughs> just a little more. Just a little more. <laughs> oh, man. It's probably the biggest celebration of all the therapists around the world. <laughs> oh, good start from uh, Frostlord Army. Yeah, sidewalk hand. And every move like that where his upper body comes down onto Johnny B. Good, that's a lot of upper body. <laughs> wow, oh, Frosty, a very rough uh, competitor. And I know it very well because he destroyed me not uh, so long ago. There you go. Oh, my God. <laughs> the oil is just amazing, isn't it? Oh, half crap, that could be over! This could oh be it! Oh my god. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
There's no it's place not, for crab at ha Hamageddon. No <laughs> seafood, please. Funny enough, Fault Force is on a seafood diet. Seafood <laughs> eats it. <Hey. laughs> oh, the champion showing why he's the champion. Got the big guy off his feet. We were talking about this earlier with Rick and Goliath Games. That worked well for him. We're seeing yeah. the other champion execute it as well. He's grabbing the hand by the horns. <laughs> That's a metaphor, but it really happened. <laughs> oh my word, not even a one count. Frost Lord is certainly motivated, certainly up yeah, for this one. Right. Give it everything he's got. They quoted that quote from Dodgeball, yes. <laughs> it's a metaphor, but it really happened. Oh and now, oh, Johnny B. Good. Trying to put to sleep. For us, Lord. Oh, yeah. So Hamlord good. really struggling to get out of that. In the end, Johnny B. Good just had to had to let it go and trying to weaken him down because he wasn't going to give up, but uh, he also wasn't able to escape. Yeah. Oh, it just made him mad. Oh, it did. <laughs> and he absolutely flattens Johnny B. Good. Johnny B. Good saying, you can pop up, I can pop up. Both of these guys gonna give it everything they've got. Beautiful move by Johnny B. Good. Oh, but look at the power and strength of Frost Lord Army and Johnny B. Good having to escape to the apron. Boy, howdy. Oh, oh God. my oh. God. My God. Brutal. Making full use of that new mask, holy moly. Oh, what a left hand, what a knee, goodness me. Oh, Johnny B. Good, is he being able to move? The problem is, if Johnny B. Good takes any punishment at all, it's so severe from a man the size of Frost Lord Army. He really has to try and stay on top with his speed the entire match, and he ha isn't managing it. Oh, please don't let this be a count out. <laughs> Surely, surely you can't do what Rick did. Surely we can't have it twice in one night. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The same strategy. <laughs> okay. He didn't do it as well as Rick, to be fair. Breaks the count. Deliberately yeah. breaks the count. We have a different class of champion here. Yes, one of them has class. <laughs> now, Johnny be good. Punishing. Frost the Lord. Hamlor. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> Oh boy. The good Bob. Bomb. Oh, oh this cool bit. It's a lot of, oh, he's getting ready for another finisher. Yeah, the good, good cutter. cutter. Oh my goodness, back to back. I think that's it. Didn't want the count out win. He knew he could do it between the ropes. That's got to be it. <laughs> oh. No. Oh. And a quick Ow. two. How as Hamlord kicked out of the good bomb into the good car. Unbelievable determination in a big match. But Johnny B. Good knows exactly what he needs to do to make it three. Oh. GG. <laughs> Double right hand right to the dome. When he's in the face. Oh. And that's it. It's bleeding. Bastard bleeding open. like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Only a one count after all that. Wow. wow. Unbelievable determination from Frost Lord Army. Really, really wants that title shot. Wants to prove a point. He's had mixed results recently, but he's always putting on incredible matches. And he wants to prove a point that he truly is one of the top superstars of the JFW. He's not just there to make up the numbers. He can win when he's in with the really, really elite. I mean, still Sick got of the being power, the bridesmaid. It? Oh my word. If he can find the pedigree after this, this might be enough. Right. Oh, fine bastard. Johnny Beagle in trouble here. Hamler in control. Oh, go on Good tap. Yeah, he could tap. He couldn't hold this against Goliath Games. He, he's got him! No! Oh, oh my goodness, no. I thought he had him. Wow. 
It's a bad day for a submission maneuver. It's too much oil. <laughs> yeah. What a belly to belly. How does Johnny be good manage that? <laughs> Again, the power of Frost Lord Army. I'm tiring him out with a pin before he goes for the pedigree. Smart. Oh, here we go. Huge fall away slam. Oh, but he's tired, Frost Lord. He's too he tired. Is. He is. Caught by Johnny B. Good. Famous this man. is Johnny. One of Johnny B. Good's advantages, isn't it? He really, really has the stamina. Yeah, incredible gas tank. But what an elbow. Oh, he went oh, for the pedigree and he yeah. got caught. He did, yeah. Oh no, that's got to be it! Oh, I bet it is. And we've seen it's this at matches before! <laughs> Goodness, I don't know if anything's going to stop Frost Lord Army tonight. Ooh, that might. Ooh. Oh, oh, right oh, the oh, more than approves. <laughs> this isn't Crown Jewel. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, still, I mean, Johnny B. Good is more or less in control, but nothing affects uh, Hamlord. <laughs> oh, oh, another good cutter. Good cutter. Good night. The champ is here. And he's be. here to stay. No! What? <laughs> what the second good cutter? What, what on earth? What is Hamlord made of? Well, Ham, I guess. <laughs> Oh, oh, no. oh my goodness, I thought that was it. Johnny B. can't believe it. This is going to uh, be one of his hardest fights ever. But, but Frost Lord Armies, other than the kick out, is hardly moving. But he's absorbing all the hits. Oh my word. He can can he find the pedigree? We haven't move. had a single pedigree. We haven't. Can he find the pedigree? Oh, there's the bang. No. That could be it. It could be, what the rest confused. Ref <laughs> the, the ref doesn't know what to do. Wow, Johnny B. Good powering out again. Great place to fire the fist in at the ribs. He's coming the pedigree again. Oh my goodness. What the hell? This is why Johnny B. Good is the champion. He is that good. You can't even land a finisher on him. Wow. Oh, the countermaster. A good bomb. Good night. That's gonna this be it. This time for sure, he holds on as well for a quick that count. That must be it. Two. <laughs> no! Oh my! How well many done. finishers have eaten Hamlor here? Even Johnny B. Good sucking air now. He has tried everything. The good cutter number three. <laughs> got to be. Got to be. Yeah, this has got to be it. Come on. Got to be. Come on, man. Look at the blood on his chest. Unbelievable. One. Two. two Three and that's it. Johnny B. Good retains. He can believe it that he made it. Incredible fight from Frostbolt Army. If he'd just been able to land a pedigree, I actually think he had it. But Johnny B. Good is champ for a reason, and we just saw exactly why. Yeah, great, great performances from both. Unbelievable. Well, I must say, I think I think Frost Lord Army proved me wrong there. I, I wasn't I wasn't expecting that level of uh, commitment from him. Absolutely amazing. Only one title changed hands tonight, didn't it? <laughs> the glorious one. GG Jim. GG. Damn it. And now, finish the most weird and spectacular show in the history of the GFW. This has been Gedon. <laughs> Thanks for enduring it with us. Sorry for the nightmares. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much, Primeer. Thank you very much, Rick. Absolutely amazing as always. Cheers, guys. And, uh... Well, Pleasure. A, a proud, proud night for JFW that uh, will stay with us for far too long.
Yes, and, uh, yes, yes, it's sticky in our skins like oil, used oil in a frying pan. Yep. Predictably, the biggest losers being Jim and Skuro. <laughs> well, <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>